Hey everyone, Michael Ferrara, and today I wanted to make a video on something that I get asked all the time. You know, how does network marketing differ from, say, being an insurance agent or a real estate broker or just in sales in general? And since I've done all, all four, um, I can answer that question. You know, so let's look at an insurance agent. An, insu an average insurance agent makes like $35,000 a year, which might be a, sh a shock or a surprise to some of you, but the average insurance agent only makes 35 grand a year. Now, there are a percentage that makes six figures or more a year. So if you look at that model, you know, you gotta ask yourself, is being an insurance agent a scam? Because not a lot of people make money doing it. And to be an insurance agent, it costs a lot of money to get started. You have to pay for your licensing. You have to pay for your office. You have to pay for all your marketing. You have to pay for your phone, your internet, your letters, your stamps. I mean, it goes on and on, employees. Now let's look at a real estate agent. Real estate agent is even worse. The average income of a real estate agent, I'm not really sure, so I'm not gonna quote, but I know it's not much more than that. And I know it's even a smaller percentage that are making six figures or more selling real estate. And being in it as I was, I can tell you that it cost a lot more money, not in getting licensed, you have to be part of the realtor board, you have to do a lot more marketing, and you don't get paid anything unless you sell the house. Which, let's be honest, it's not that easy to sell a house and market a house. It takes a lot of work. A lot more work than I even thought before I got into it and a lot more work than most people get into it. You know, you, you think you just so, show some people some houses, they check it out and they buy it. It sounds pretty easy, right? It's really not, it's very, it's a lot of work. So if we look at that model, you know, do we look at in real estate agents and say, you know, that's a scam because people really don't make any money selling real estate. There are a few, but not, a, not the majority. So then let's look, look, look at network marketing. Now. Network marketing has a small investment up front. So it doesn't cost a lot of money to get started in network marketing. Most of your marketing materials and, and um, tools and systems that you use to work your business is all part of the company that you join. So the videos that they have, the conference calls that they have, the websites done for you, the the apps that you run your business off your phone are all done for you. You don't need an office, so you're not paying for office overhead. You don't need to get employees, so you're not paying employees. And there's a lot more people in network marketing making millions of dollars a year, let alone six figures, and even you know $50,000 plus, than there are as far as insurance agents or real estate agents. There are people in the industry just like the other ones that aren't making a lot of money. Because in all three of those industries, you get out of them what you put into them. So if we look at all three, they're kind of similar, but are they scams? No, not at all. They're kind of all the same compensation model, but with network marketing, it's a smaller investment, a smaller risk, and you have the ability to build a bigger team and a lot easier to build a bigger team and have a bigger reach. What I mean by bigger reach is that with your insurance agent, you have to get licensed in each state that you wanna sell insurance in. So if you wanna build a, an insurance team or you wanna build an agency, you know, you can build one in your current state, but then if you wanna build in another state, you're gonna to have to get a non-resident license, which is gonna cost you money. You're gonna to have to get an office out there to help have a place for these agents to come to, or you could even build a, a, a team underneath you that's necessary, they can work from home, but they all need to be licensed. So it's gonna cost a lot more money to get them going, plus it's gonna be a lot harder to do. Same with real estate, you're gonna need an office. So network marketing as far as, if you're looking at the different ways to make a, a living or a better, you know, an easier way to build a team of individuals to get that leveraged income and that residual income, which in real estate, you don't have residual income. As an insurance agent and broker, you have residual income. Network marketing, residual income. So I just wanted to kind of compare those industries together and 
put it out there that network marketing is just a better way that takes average people and gives them the ability to do extraordinary things, to make a, a decent living and have that time freedom and the ability to do it. Now, just like any business or any opportunity, you're going to have to put in a lot of hard work in the beginning. Nothing is easy. If you, anyone tells you, you know, you join the business and you're going to start making a bunch of money right away without doing any work, they're lying to you. That's That right there is your typical scam, your pyramid scheme, whatever like that, because nothing is easy. It takes a lot of upfront work and a lot of time for little money to reap those those benefits in the end where you're going to spend a lot less time making a lot more money. So hopefully you found this video useful. As always, I appreciate you guys. It's a rainy day here, kind of overcast, so I'm a little tired, but always smile because it looks good on you and it feels good. And uh, we will catch you on the next video. Thank you so much and have a nice night. Bye.